Hello, my name is Charlie. I am a sock puppet, as you can see, with my luscious... My mouth isn't working. Luscious. Puppeteer, Yero, can you fix my mouth? Sure. Bam, bam, bam! Ah, that's better. Okay, so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I am a sock puppet, you can see because of my luscious afro, and my weird thing I got glued on. It's called a pipe cleaner. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be talking about... Get off camera. We're going to be talking about indie pop and indie rock. And how good it's going to be in 2020. First, let's talk about the king of melancholy indie pop, which is what Apple Music descri describes him as. Conan Gray. You might know him because of his songs Maniac and Crush Culture. That's what it's called. Crush Culture? My mouth. Ah. Bam, bam, bam. Better. Even better. So, those two songs made him really famous. Mostly Maniac. That song is really good, and I recommend it if you haven't heard it already. But you probably already have. It's like top 100 and like, um, what's that place called again? Saudi Arabia, I think, actually. Who's saying that? Who's saying actually? Actually. We'll ignore that. So he's releasing a new album with 12 songs, including Maniac, Checkmate, The Story, and more. And they all sound good. Except the ones that haven't been released yet, because those aren't released yet. Look at this pipe cleaner. I am looking. Who's who's saying that? Look at this pipe cleaner. I, I I it's my pipe cleaner. Look at this. Is that you, puppeteer? Maybe. Shut up. Anyways, Cape Town is also releasing a new album. If you don't know who Cape Town is, you probably don't know who Conan Gray is. Cape Town is a guitar indie pop artist who is really funny. He makes fun songs that I enjoy. They, I laugh at them. Ha ha. And um, he's releasing a new album called Sleepyhead. It sounds really good so far. With the song Sweet Tooth and Telescope are really good. Things that keep it warm and um, February 14th are okay, if you ask me. I just morphed into a different creature. But I really like Telescope, so listen to that. And um, Chloe Moriando. Get off screen. Get off screen. Chloe Moriando is releasing two new songs. She has released two new songs, and they're very good. Do you agree? <laughs> Look into my eyes and say you agree. <laughs> oh, you're saying you don't know who Chloe Moriando is? Oh. She's an artist that sings songs with a bass, a ukulele, guitar, drums, and all sorts of instruments. And they're all really good. And she released two new songs that are one of her best. Kindergarten, which came out in January, and Cl wait, Ghost Adventure Spirit Orb. Yay, I did it. Activate the party horns. Or don't. But, um, those both songs are really good. And she's going to be releasing more in the future, I hope. She probably is, though. Okay, the last part of, like, indie pop, and then moving on to more indie rock. This math is sucking. Here, let me help. Okay. <laughs> ah, that's, that's got actually better. Thank you. Thank you. So... Girl in Red tweeted out that she is pregnant with album. Her words, not mine. So, does that mean the album is coming in nine months? Like a baby does? Or is he just, like, being funny? I honestly don't know. But it's a possibility possibility that she is releasing a new album. And I'm excited because I like Girl in Red. I also like Soccer Mommy. Soccer Mommy is, like, indie rock, indie pop, mostly indie rock. And she released a new album called Color Theory. With the song Circle the Drain and it's so damn good. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it now, please. And now we cycle on to fully indult indie rock. I'm leaving to indie rock land. Goodbye. Hello, I am.
um, here in Indie Rockland, and I'm sideways. So I'm going to move. That's better. So, in Indie Rockland, we talk about Indie Rock. And the Indie Rock band that's releasing a new album is Multiple. But the first one that we're going to talk about is Weezer. Weezer is releasing a new album called Van Weezer. I don't know what van is. Is it like the like van, like car type? Like it's the van that Weezer owns, or is it like something else that I don't understand? Because my brain is small. Because I'm a sock. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't know. I know that he appeared in the camera. <laughs> Born Ruffians album also is coming out soon, in April third. And I like Born Ruffians because they're fun. Indie pop, indie rock, and it makes me dance. Here's a video of me dancing. It's it's not a video, I'm just reenacting the dance I do. So that's a dance I do. The new album that they're making is called Juice. J U I S E. Wait, my mouth isn't working. J U J U I S E. That's a new album. It's called Juice. It's gonna be super good. And um, a new Green Green Day album came out. It's I I don't know if it's good or not, but I've heard good things. Have I, or have I not? Hmm. I just morphed into a different creature. I like morphing into creatures. It's fun. <coughs> oh, I got sick on the way here. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? <coughs> yeah, sucks. Um, who else is releasing the album? Oh yeah, Pottery. Pottery is like this band. If you mixed Talking Heads with modern day rock, and it's really good. And it's like punk rock, very punk rock. And the punk is strong with this album. Punk is very strong. But, um, it's called Welcome to Bobby's Motel. And it's coming out in sometime in April, I think. So it's gonna sound good. Please listen to it. Listen to it now, because it, it's good. Like, the best time to start listening to them is now. Because they're releasing a new album. And they haven't released much songs, so you can, like, listen to all of them before April. But your choice. There's also, um, Gorilla's music coming out. They have released two episodes of the show. They've been making, like, a music show. Like, there's, like, a theme song for it. It's, like, a music thing. I forget the name of it. I'll probably, like, edit it in soon. Like, in three, two, one. Okay, so, um, they're also gonna probably release more episodes of it. And when they do, I'm going to be happy because they, they sound good. The last one, but not least, that I will be talking about is the new Strokes album. Uh, Strokes is an indie rock band. They sound good. I can say that because I like indie rock. And... <coughs> it's, I, I, it's called The New Abnormal. They have some good songs. It's been a hit for some Strokes fans. And I'm moving because my puppeteer is being mean to me. Sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, stop. So here are some honorable mentions about um, new albums of indie music in 2020 and new songs from new artists. Help me, please. I'm sinking. Bye. Honorable mention time. Honorable mentions. <laughs> Beach Bunny released their first album in February 14th, 2020. Also, also, they're an indie rock band, if you do not know who B20 is. Why did I say also? I don't know. The, another album that came out on February 14th is Tame and Pala's new album. The the something. I'll, I'll remember in a minute. Three, two, one. There's another album that came out from uh, Guided by Voices, because they released another album. They released like 20 albums a day. Um, there's also an All Time Low album, a Coin album, which are both indie rock bands. All Time Low is more like punk rock, like indie stuff, and Coin is more indie rock. Okay, those are my honorable mentions. Goodbye.
it's not over yet. Um. Okay, now it's over. Okay, now it's over. Please subscribe to our channel, the Lost and Found TV channel, or you can um stay tuned for the next episode of Sock Talks, where we talk about discontinued Oreo flavors. Bye. Wait, my mouth isn't working.